I'm gonna make this fast. If you guys are putting together an engine and you're torquing them and you think you gotta wait the next day to retorque, you really don't have to. This is a trick I learned on a, uh, a Pontiac 400. Back when I was like 16, I was, I was doing an engine swap. I was taking a 455 out and this guy uh, found a Ram 3 400 and I went through it, uh, checked the bearings and everything. And I actually happened to run across this by accident, but I've been doing it ever since. And it works. It works really good. So after I torqued the, the main caps, I was just bullshitting around with my friend and uh, Keith Blaze at the time, actually. And we're in my father's garage and we're just hanging around the engine and this and that. And I got done torquing one of the main caps. And I said, that's it, you know. I put a little sealer on the, the main cap bolts and everything, and um, for some odd reason or another, I just I, I hit the bolt with a hammer, and I told him, yep, that's it. It's Loctited in place. You know, just as a joke, right? And <laughs> I went to go put the torque wrench on it again and got another quarter turn out of it. So... From that day since, when I put an engine together, whatever I torque, I, I hit the head with a hammer, whether it be on an extension and a socket or a socket right to the bolt head. I've been doing that ever since, and you will get a sixteenth, an eighth, a quarter turn out of the bolt it really works what it does is it shocks the bolt okay it's the same thing as if you were to uh, detonate all right that's the only thing i can really think of other than you know actually shocking the engine okay running is kind of like smooth and this and that but uh, you know, heat cycles will do it but you want something that really like shocks the engine so you know if, if your engine pings it'll shock the engine so um, I'm just using that as an example, but when you torque your bolts, hit them with a hammer. If it is a, uh, if it is a connecting rod and you have a nut on the end, get yourself a pin punch and hit this, you know, you don't got to beat the heck out of the thing, but just to tap it and you'll see that you'll get a little more turn out of it. It works every time. And I've used multi-layer shim gaskets. I've used graphite gaskets. I use the crappy Fell Pro ones. You will get an extra clock out of the head bolt. So um, I know Nolan's putting together an engine. It's a Magnum 360. He did a wonderful job cleaning it. I just, I mean, from what it was to where it is right now, he's doing fantastic I, had, I mean I'm nobody to judge anyone else's work but from what I see it's 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 fantastic it's actually better than some of the engine blocks I've gotten back from the machinists from various places and it looks way better so um, if if you're interested in uh, building an engine and cleaning a block I suggest checking out that channel. Uh, Nolan, he's he's a thinker. He has some pretty cool sayings, so <laughs> it's it's kind of kind of adds a little comic comical relief sort of to what he's doing. And uh, I don't know. anyways, uh, just as just a fast one, just something I thought of. So if you're putting together an engine. Hit those bolts, retorque them, and they'll be set.